Can I just check your, your injury situation for what is a very big game? You seem to have five players, maybe more, uh, not available. Can I just check your injury list and how people are, please? Well, we still have a few injuries, but uh, some of them, they come back a little bit to training and tomorrow we'll decide if they are ready to play or not. Have you ruled out any of those? I'm looking at Stones. Laporte, Zinchenko, Rodri and Gundogan. Are, are all those five still in contention then? No, not all of them. Some of them, they come back a little bit to train today. We'll see tomorrow how they react to training session today and tomorrow we'll see. When you bear that situation in mind after just a few games, how on earth will next season work? Have you seen the plans for the the World Cup schedule and the, the plans to pause the Premier League? Your, your squad loses as many players as anybody, I think, for an international break. Um, what do you make of the of the plans to pause the Premier League next season? Well, still, still, Peter, I didn't, I didn't watch, I didn't see the schedule for the next season. Like the World Cup is in the middle of the season, so it was the first time ever it happened. So I didn't see it. I didn't see it with my staff. Analyze a little bit uh, how will be the impact. So anyway, so everybody knows the teams are involved in European competition, domestic competitions, national team, many of these players. So for many years or the last years, the calendar, the schedule is brutal. So uh, just to that, to train as best as possible, not much to not get injured and give everything you have, the energy you have uh, on the day game. Thank you, Peter. Um, Anita Jones. Hi, Pep. How are you? I'm good, thanks. You? Yeah, all good, thank you. So um, the head-to-head -head stats between you and Tuchel in the Premier League have been spoken about a lot. What have you said to your players to try and get that out of their minds ahead of tomorrow? Sorry, Anita, can you repeat? I didn't understand the question. Yeah, of course. So I said, you know, your head-to-head -head stats with Tuchel in the Premier League, oh. yeah, have been spoken about a lot going into the game tomorrow. So I'm just wondering what you said to your players to make sure that's not in their mind before the game. We prepare the game like we prepare uh, Southampton and uh, before and uh, in the previous games so and try to read what they are, what we have done in the recent games uh, um, against Chelsea and the Tuchel and, uh, and uh, try to, you know, to every game is a new challenge, an opportunity to improve, to learn and to do it better. So it's not a final, it's completely different than uh, the previous games, like when we play in the FA Cup, it was a final, that was a tie game and for, you know, we lost it and the Premier League, it was already done, we were already almost champion. And of course, the Champions League was a massive, massive game. So we tried to learn, but now it's a new competition. Uh, learn for these three games, of course. And uh, it's one more game that between the three games we have uh, for the Premier League. So prepare the game like uh, the strong points that we have and what you have to do to, con to, be, to be better. This is uh, the mindset we had the last days to prepare this game. It would be the same against uh, Paris Saint-Germain and, and Liverpool before the international break. Thank you, Anita. Um, Mike Minet. Hi, Pep. Um, just joining on what you've said at the, at the end of that there, how big is this week with Chelsea, PSG and, and Liverpool all to come away from home? Bye, so nice. What a privilege. So in the week with the Ryder Cup, so better than that is not possible. So, uh, yeah, one game at a time. So. <coughs> Now this afternoon we travel to London, prepare world game. So, and and after we prepare the next one. Will you be having a keen eye on the Ryder Cup? Will you? Sorry. You'll have a keen eye on the Ryder Cup, will you? Absolutely. Is the one of the years, you know, the event of the year. So absolutely. Uh, Simon Stone. Hi, Pep. Um, the Champions League final. Um, what? What? happened that day why why didn't that go well and is there anything within this Chelsea team obviously they've got Lukaku now is there anything in this Chelsea team that is a worry for you 
we play a great final. We lost, but we play a great final. Uh, we we miss a little bit to be more 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 precise in the last part, the last third of the game. But uh, we lost the second ball. The transition are so good in these uncertain balls up and downs when you regain the ball, and after that they are able to regain again the ball, and after they they make a quick quick transition. So uh, because. Their structure defensively so good uh, for the physicality they have, the movement they have, the quality in the short spaces. They, they control all the departments, so that's why it was difficult with the final Champions League against the exceptional team. But uh, yeah, I had the feeling in the game, and now when I saw it uh, these days, the final, so my impression is that we were really, really good. We play a good with a lot of courage. With the personality, we tried to do it. And unfortunately, in the contra-attacks, in the long balls, second balls, they were much better than us, and they beat us. Thank you, Simon. Um, Fred Caldera? Hi, Pep. Um, there is another international break approaching, and I'm just asking you about that today, because in a few hours in Brazil, Titi is going to name the squad. Are you aware if there is any definition, any agreement just time for the players in the red list of your squad. I don't know anything. Hopefully, hopefully, what I would say we are more than grateful to leave the Brazilian players go to the national team. I like always have been, always we have done. So, above of the beyond of the the rule or the law that said we have to give them is the pleasure. But I don't know what's going to happen. So the situation all around the world about the pandemic situation is still there. So hopefully, the authorities, so Premier League governments, Brazil, England, and 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 of course uh, the Premier League and the Brazilian Federation can have a solution for the like sweet perfect for you know both both sides. It's only what we want. The players, of course, the federations, of course, the governments. It's just to sit, talk, and find a solution for the benefit for the players and the clubs. And of course, for the national team from Brazil. Thank you. Thank you, Fred. Michael Gray, Fox Sport. Hi, Pat. Uh, Pat, since you've been in England, um, do you think this is going to be the toughest Premier League that you've been involved in? Every, every year I had the feeling that the second season was harder, tougher than the first one, the third, than the second, and the fourth, and definitely. This is the amount of the incredible top, top uh, quality players, teams, managers. And, and yeah, it's really, really tough, really tough. It's an incredible challenge for, the, uh, for us. So, yeah, we accept the challenge and we go for it. Thanks, I, I, think it's a big, I think it's a big compliment for the Premier League. So I think the Premier League has to be so proud, the UK, and for the fantastic uh, league that we have for a brilliant, brilliant, uh, I spoke for my contenders, for my colleagues, so brilliant managers, but honestly brilliant in many sense, in all, in, in all the clubs and top quality players in every, but not just 11, 12, so every squad they have 15, 16, 17, exceptional players. Um, and plus the, the fans are back and uh, you know, advertising are back in the good way. So yeah, we have to be. It's an honor to be to be here and enjoy the Premier League in this country. Thank you so much. Thank you, Michael. Um, Ian Parker. Uh, hi, Pep. I um, just wanted to get your opinion, if I can, on a, a bit of news that we've heard about the possible return of safe standing and the idea that Manchester City might be one of the clubs that get involved with the, the, the trial of that. Have you any thoughts on how that might improve the atmosphere? Oh, again? Yeah. Ah, I didn't know it. I didn't know Ian. So, well, one is the the safety, you know, for all of us and no, for the fans, for the spectators. But I don't have any clear opinion. I thought uh, they came back to the seats because what happened before it was dangerous, and I think if the authorities decide to come back, being you know a stand up. It's because they believe it's safe and 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 make an extra push for the images for the fans. So, but I don't know. I don't have an opinion. 